Welcome. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use Today's Meet. Today's Meet is an effective website that teachers can use both inside and outside the classroom to encourage students to engage in critical thinking and reflection. Although you can create a room without becoming a member, if you are an educator, I would highly recommend signing up. Becoming a registered member is both free and simple. All you have to do is sign up using your email address and create a username and password. In a few short moments, you will receive a verification email from today's meet confirming your email address and after which you can have access to all the benefits of being a registered member, including being able to moderate content, keep rooms open for up to a year, and close rooms sooner than the deadline. As well, you can enhance privacy settings by limiting access to specific users. To create a back channeling room, simply type in a name underneath, pick a name. Below this box, you'll see two bullets, one that says anyone and another that says signed in. Here you can select who has access to your room. As well, you can decide how long you want to keep the room open for, one hour, two hours, eight hours, one day, one week, one month, or one year. Now click open your room. After creating a room, you will be brought to this page. Here, you have to create a nickname and then select Join. Here is what a room looks like. The blue box is where students can write in information about their project or assignment. And when they're ready to share this content, they simply click Say. It will then appear in the box to the left underneath Listen. Underneath each text box, once published, will be the exact time that the student published this information, as well as their nickname. If the content was not appropriate, simply click on Delete in the bottom right-hand corner. Similar to Twitter, students must include information within 140 characters or less. However, they can post as many times as they would like. Although this is limiting for students, it is beneficial for when students have to create a research project and summarize information. Underneath the discussion box is a button with the title Room Tools. If you click here, you can present and share your information in a projector view so that students can go over in class what they've learned. As well, you can click on QR code for students to have easy access to this chat room by simply scanning the QR code. As well, underneath Info and Tools explains to you, as a teacher, when this room is going to close. If you want to close it now, just simply click Close Now. You can also create a transcript of the information included. Here, you're able to print this information or go back to the room. As well, under Room Tools, you can select your preferences. You can give each student, or each person with a nickname, speaker colors. As well, you can use relative dates or exact dates. Underneath Settings, you can have access to connecting your Google account, changing your nickname, changing the email address you use for your account, and changing your password. By simply going back to your room, you can create a new room or manage one of your old rooms. It explains when they're closing, when they're cl which one's closing first, which one's closing last, the open files available, and that you can easily access the QR and transcripts for each by simply clicking the button. 